Hey, everybody! So, at the moment, there was a little bit of a discussion. Um, some people say that artist block does not exist, and a lot of people say that it, in fact, does exist, and yeah. It does exist. I have had it myself a couple times and it ain't fun. People ask in comments all the time, um, not in mine but like in other videos, how to actually overcome or to get away from artist block. And since I had it a couple times myself, I have a few little things that I would do so that it would stop or that I would get over that time period of when it is. Now obviously there is many different things when it comes to artist block. A lot of times it might just be laziness, you just don't want to draw or you just don't feel like drawing at the moment and that's totally fine. You don't bash yourself for that. Like if you don't want to draw right now that's fine. You know some people stop drawing for maybe a week. Sometimes they stop for a few months or maybe for 28 years. Who cares? I mean if art is your job I mean that's where it gets kind of tricky, but that's why I have these little tips for you. Now the first tip I can give to you is to keep a folder with you or a little book where you have inspiration in it. I made mine um, because I needed inspiration and everyone does. That's just a normal thing. Every artist needs some inspiration from somewhere. So I just went on um, the internet and I search for a lot of things on different sites mostly I went on Pinterest mm, most of the pictures are from Pinterest some are from Google images or I took a picture of a manga myself and then printed it out and glued it into my little book I made mine so it's in two sections so there's section number one where it starts and it's uh, all sketches then it goes over to tutorials then I have a section for inked art then it goes over to food and then I have one for all color drawings which is also uh, digital art is in the same section there and then the last section is like backgrounds and scenery and all that which pretty empty but it's okay so basically what that's gonna do is you open that book whenever you feel like you don't have anything to draw you don't feel feel draw like drawing or you don't know what to draw then you just open that book flip through it and you're supposed to get inspired now this book obviously I have had it for a bit and uh, I know the pictures so they don't inspire me anymore and that's something that it's kind of sad. So what I would do at that point is of course you need to complete that book all the time. I mean search for more pictures, put them in there, keep a folder on your computer where you save all these pictures and then eventually print them out. But you still have that period of time where you just they don't inspire you anymore or you don't find any new pictures. Now art is always there and everyone's creating art all the time but maybe you just don't find anything that is good enough. Always go on places like maybe Instagram or Tumblr. Some people post art on Tumblr. Maybe uh, Twitter is a good thing and of course YouTube where there's a lot of artists posting their own art. If you want some channel names where I like their art and it inspires me to look at that. I'm gonna leave links for the YouTube channels down below and you can check them out. I also have a playlist here on YouTube where I just put in like some manga art, speed drawings or anything else where I just like the art and it inspires me. So I'm gonna make that public if you wanna check that out and if you wanna make your own playlist you can do that of course. Um, it's a good thing if you want to draw something you don't know what to do or you don't really feel that much like drawing to get you in the mood you just play that playlist in the background and then you can draw no problem obviously that's not gonna help everyone so I have a few more options that you can make it if that doesn't help so number two would be do not throw away your old art or any art you have done. Uh, if you're following me for some time, you know that I had a lot of art laying around and I would, I have um, put it all in folders so that it's neat and organized. This is something really important right here. 
if you draw something, even if it's just a little sketch, always put on the date on the paper and put it in a folder where it's made from like years. It doesn't have to be in plastic sleeves, it doesn't have to be hole punched in a folder or whatever. Just put it somewhere where it's always together and every year you can look at your like for every year you have one folder or one section. I have this big folder with many sections in it and then I put in my art. The newest art that I do is always going to be on top and if I feel like I'm, I need to be inspired then I look at the art, old art. Now here's a disclaimer I want to say is that when you look at your own art and your old art especially too long I find that sometimes you start to kind of fall back into the habit of drawing like that. So everything you learn in the time after you had that art style or skill kind of falls back. So you want to be careful, you don't want to stare too much at it, you don't want to go too much into that and you want to concentrate on having your own style still and evolving that one because that's why we are drawing right to evolve and to get better at it too so that's important not stare at it for too long not don't try to go back into that habit and draw like that again unless you got worse at art then maybe i don't know if you don't have any ideas on what to draw like oh i want to draw a picture but really like what background, what scenery, what person, like, or maybe what animal, I don't know what to draw, like, it's just, I don't have no inspiration for this. So what I would suggest you do is you create a character. Um, that character can be created when you're at your highest uh, inspiration level or at your lowest. The key is just to make a, one character or multiple ones in that matter. You can make as many characters as you want, of course. Uh, it can be a dog or a human or a dragon, doesn't matter. As long as you create this character that can be evolved over time and can get more and more things. That way you make a character that whenever you have no inspiration, no idea, then you can go back on that character and just draw it. Maybe work a little bit on how the character is, what the character has, like the characteristics or maybe how it, that character looks like or um, the colors of it and just just work on that character a little bit and maybe sometimes you just develop a backstory for every one of your little characters you created over that time and you create the story and then you maybe you have a book or maybe a manga that you can do when you feel like you you're finally on that level where you can actually make a comic book if you want to do that, of course. Another thing with the folder um, that you would have your old art in, I would suggest you either have everything together in the year or you have um, different folders for sketches, things that never got done or whatever, and things that are that got completely done, your art is finished, maybe you've been drawing for so long and you even have prints or whatever and so you want to keep it either separated or all together. For me my real old art um, never got really finished, I don't really have a lot of pieces that were all done or really good enough to be in plastic sleeves in a folder on themselves. So I only have two folders for this year and last year where I actually started drawing stuff with paper and stuff. And then maybe you can take these pictures, flip through them, and if that doesn't inspire you, you just look at them and be like, huh, well that looks ugly, why don't I just draw it again? And just so you have something to cover over the time where you don't have inspiration, just draw it again. Maybe it will give you back your inspiration or at least you have something to still improve your skill over and draw it again. And if none of these things help, this is something that maybe not the best idea for everyone, but maybe it helps you 
uh, is to watch a series, an anime, a movie or something like that. It can be a real life movie or an animated movie where you just watch it and maybe it gives you inspiration for your own character or your own just the piece of art you want to create and you just can't at this moment, maybe watching a movie will help. Um, for me, things that inspire me the most would be an anime because it is close to what I draw. So I would maybe either read a manga or watch an anime, mostly a movie or maybe um, Princess Mononoke or um, Chihiro. These kind of movies really inspire me and they have so much detail so going on to that can really inspire you a lot if it does. You just need to try it out. And last point I have on my list is to try and draw something completely different from what you draw normally. If you draw humans maybe start drawing an animal or a tree or a building. You know just up your game and do something that gets you completely out of your comfort zone because that might just open a new door, you know? Work on your background skills and if you have a lot of background skills, work on your foreground skills. And I, for myself, I can't draw animals at all, so maybe I should get on that a little bit more, you know? So try and draw some animals or try to draw some buildings. I'm really bad at drawing buildings. These kind of things, you know? Uh, if you draw a lot of girls, draw more boys or if you draw a lot of boys, draw more girls. and or kids or old women or old men or whatever, you know? Try and do something you wouldn't have done if you had inspiration right now. Another thing is, of course, always keep practicing your art skills. If it's just the fact that you do not know what to draw, then maybe try and draw a lot of hands or a lot of eyes or a lot of noses and whatever. Some hair or clothes, make the folds and all that. Just practice on one or two things and get that really in so when you have inspiration you can use your new skill and maybe that will make you want to draw a full drawing with your new cool eye skills or whatever. Now I just want to say as a little end point here that there is a difference between artist block where you just don't have any inspiration, you don't know what to draw and I can't draw. Um, now what I mean with I can't draw is you put your pencil on the paper and there nothing great comes out of it. Not like I can't draw, I'm traumatized, I I just can't. I mean you just you can't draw, it's just thirds coming out of your pencil and that is something where the only tip I can give you if that happens is uh, you can first of all try these things out that I just told you because they just might help you with it they might just not but the best thing you can do in that situation is wait it out and sometimes it might take a little longer it can be really frustrating but always remember that if you do like art and you want to be an artist or you want to draw you will be able to get back on it just getting it done because you have to get it done it doesn't make fun it's not fun where's the fun in art then so if you can't get it done oh then maybe you just shouldn't right now maybe it takes two days maybe it takes a month if you just can't draw this right now or if you can't draw at all right now then maybe there is nothing else to do than to just kind of wait for it to go away. Alright, so I hope any of these tips help you. They help me when I have this barrier that I try, I really need to overcome at that point. They don't help you. I'm really, really sorry. It's all I have. Maybe in the future I will have some new kinds of tips about this and try to answer these questions. Which brings me to the next point, and just ask me questions guys. Like, I initially made this channel because I wanted to share something with everyone that I loved. Because I didn't know anyone who liked the same stuff than me. So here are, here are some people who like the same things, and you might just have a question, why don't you just ask me? I'm, I respond to every comment and I read every single comment that you post on my channel. 
so ask me questions and I will answer them maybe in the comments or in a video so if you need to know anything and you have a problem with any anything I might just be able to answer that and help you out so just try it out if I can't help you then maybe someone else can or we can figure it out together all right that brings me to the end of the video don't forget to check out the links in the description for all the beautiful artists and the links for my social media and all that drop a like and uh, subscribe if you didn't already I'm almost to hundred subscribers so that's I'm really excited about that that's all guys um, that's all I want to say okay bye